right, read it again. Positive test is one band in window two and one band in window three. And what do we, what kind of test is this? Parvo. And how much do we hate Parvo? A lot. A lot. But guess what we have? Parvo antibodies. Woohoo! So, if you are rescuing a dog, here's my advice. Um, every single puppy should have been vaccinated the minute they get into rescue. Um, I vaccinate them again a week or two later because we hate Parvo. Parvo is just the worst, the worst, the worst, the worst, the worst. Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico and this is Molly. Molly is weighing in today at eight pounds and we think she is how old? Nine weeks. Nine weeks. And where did she come from? Um, she came from a rescue from um, from Baldwin area, but they got her from Antigua. Okay. Okay. And um, and how did you find her? So through a friend was fostering her, and so we adopted her on Friday night. Okay. Today's um, Monday. Yep. So okay. we got her Friday night. She was fine, eating fine. Yesterday, um, she didn't want to eat anything in the morning, didn't eat. This morning? Yesterday morning. Yesterday, yesterday morning. Okay. Uh, Friday night, Saturday, we're fine. Okay. Saturday or Sunday, um, didn't want to eat anything for most of the day. She threw up a little bit of dog food, small pile. And then later in the day, threw up a little bit more, drank a little bit of water, but still not really. We even tried to give her a little dog treat. Nothing during the day. At night, um, she ate very little um, and had like her stools were more runny like that, you know, not real runny, but soft and okay. a little more like diarrhea. Okay. Um, the rescue told me this afternoon that her sibling tested positive for Parvo and okay. to get checked out. Okay. Okay. So a couple things to note. Um, I, Parvo really happens to these dogs somewhere. I would say the six to six weeks old. I've seen it like two to three months old. Um, I, you know, for as much as no good deed goes unpunished, right? And these rescue guys are always the ones that, the ones that I worry about the most. I really strongly believe in all of these rescue puppies should be in a two week quarantine. So they get, they come in through rescue, they have a two week quarantine, mom gets vaccinated, the puppies get vaccinated because they shouldn't be adopting them out until eight weeks old anyway. So if you're getting them at six weeks, they get vaccinated in six weeks. And then, you know, I looked at the record that this puppy came in with and it looks like they have vaccinated for it. I tried to call that veterinarian and it just rained. It just, okay. it's busy, yeah, busy, Yeah, they busy, said busy. she was 80% vaccinated and then she wasn't due until yeah. like the end yeah. of this month. So she yeah. was already nine weeks. The, well, the other thing that I would say is as soon as you adopt a puppy, you go to the vet within three days. Okay. I want to see these guys within three days. If they have been vaccinated in a, a week or more, um, or have not been vaccinated in a week or more, I revaccinate them because this is what I'm trying to avoid. Like, okay. you know, I know everyone worries about over vaccinating, but the flip side is nobody wants parvo. Right. So we did, we took a fecal sample and we ran it in our in-house test and she came up positive almost immediately. We now have a monoclonal antibody, which is an injectable parvo treatment. Okay. Um, it really has reduced the cost of these guys. So up until this came out, it reduced the, the cost estimate would be somewhere two to six thousand dollars if she was going to the okay. ER. It has now reduced it for her to about well the treatment is about five hundred dollars. Okay. We still have blood work and we're gonna give her antibiotics and what we call supportive care, but it really is a way that we can call we call it treat and street these guys and actually give them a much okay. better prognosis than they would have otherwise. Trying to manage these guys on a budget in the past was trying to keep them, you know, sub fluids, nausea medications, trying to keep their blood sugar high enough when they're not eating or they right. feel bad. And the prognosis was still really pretty poor for a lot of them. So, so a couple things. If you're getting a rescue dog, make sure that they've been in quarantine for two weeks. Make sure that, no offense, but an American vet has given it right. to them, yeah. you know, and then they're, they, as soon as you get them, they see a veterinarian within three days. I'm hyper vigilant about vaccinating them. Now that she's got this, she goes into quarantine. There is a whole kind of next discussion to have about what to do kind of moving forward. As long as the rest of the dogs in your family are adults and they're vaccinated. I've never I don't have any other pets. Yeah. So. 
Okay, good. But for those people that are bringing yes. a puppy in, keep keep the rest of your herd um, vaccinated. We always have that two week quarantine for any new pet that we bring in, and then you know, for 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 Molly in particular, this is going to be a good, hopefully, a good trial run of our new monoclonal antibody for parvovirus. The first thing that I would say, most of these guys get depressed first, so quiet, depressed first nauseous or not eating and then the vomiting the diarrhea follows so if you know if your new puppy is seeming lethargic and not eating really go get them tested first of all if you still if they test pop negative and you still think it's then test them again sometimes it takes a little while for the test that's something we learned from covid too just because your test says negative doesn't mean that you don't have it so we're going to keep you posted on little molly and wish her the very best of luck i know you don't feel so good all right thank you to her family for sharing this story we'll keep you posted better you're lifting your head up does your tail work that doesn't work yet but you're feeling better so molly got the parvo treatment yesterday and we're doing better i called this morning because i could barely wait to get into work this morning and check on her um she's a rescue and you know these are the guys i really worry about but we're doing better we're eating no vomiting no diarrhea um we're still a little, still a little quiet but i'm glad you're better This is Molly. Molly, the last time I saw you, you were not up and walking around and you certainly weren't wagging. This is our little monoclonal antibody parvo treatment puppy, our tongue twister. <laughs> so, so this is how you know your puppy is, is, is cured. They're, in, they're interested in the world, they're wagging. She wasn't just kind of a droopy dish work bag in, in mom's hands. She's got some muscle mass. Hello, I'm so happy to see you. She gained a pound. Yay! You still might be a little skinny mini. So this is Molly. One week ago, she was recently rescued. Um, she came in from Antigua, so she came in from abroad. You know, I'm always gonna worry about parvo puppies. I don't, you know, I almost don't care where they come from. We just really worry. So ideally, um, puppies stay in quarantine, we vaccinate them. Parvo is a really difficult disease if you're vaccinated, to, to get if you're vaccinated. So we vaccinate them, you know, every three weeks between about six weeks old. So usually six weeks, you, most puppies are adopted at eight weeks. Um, it, it, if they go to a new home, I vaccinate them again really pretty quickly because we're really, this is the thing that we're really trying to avoid. Now there's a new injectable monoclonal antibody treatment um, from Elanco. It is dosed by really like 10 pounds. So she was under 10 pounds, so she just needed one vial. Um, a vial here is about $450. She also got IV fluids. She got an anti-nausea medication. We started her on antibiotics. Her blood work was pretty bad when we saw her a week ago, so she's back here today um, to get her blood work redone, and then I'm gonna vaccinate her next week. Um, but she's just doing so much better. When you get rid of the vomiting and the not eating and the diarrhea, um, then you know you're on your way to the men. But she's still in quarantine for another week, um, and and she's doing great. So I'm so happy to see her. We were we were really excited to to, to have a, a parvo treatment that was that quick and that easy. So hopefully there's a you know a much better chance for all of these guys. And um, yeah, and, and and may I never see another parvo puppy again. But. But if we do, and at least we have some, some better options for them. So this is little Molly.